Genesis Planning, a non-transactional tool developed by Genesis to sketch your retail operations in more efficient way. Uh, uh, before going into the uh, Genesis Planning, let us first understand the Indian uh, retail scenario. This is the overall retail industry breakup with respect to revenue and we can identify ourselves in this category segment. Maximum share holds by the food and grocery segment followed by apparel segment and accordingly uh, the other uh, segment of this industry are available here. Now the major challenges in this industry is uh, can be categorized in uh, two uh, broad uh, category in internal and external. The external factors which uh, actually not uh, possible to control by a uh, business um, by its uh, operations but the internal challenges which can be achieved um, by uh, some internal strategy or uh, some um, internal efficiency building the internal efficiency so uh, these are the challenges we are facing now uh, what is the actual objective for uh, this uh, retail industry it's basically profit maximization but uh, what would be the resolution for uh, this maximization of profit that would be a efficient supply chain management and now it's a supply chain management uh, actually by proper sourcing timely replenishment placing right merchandising optimize sq management reduce unwanted carrying costs and effective utilization actually the efficient supply chain management means these are the factors which need to address then only we can achieve the efficient supply chain management. Now, uh, what would be the way forward for this uh, resolution? Means effective supply chain management. That would be actually in, in operational areas, it would be uh, SQ grouping because uh, you know that uh, in retail, Indian retail industry, uh, there is a diversified SQs available. It depends on the uh, that store format it would be from 5000 SQs to 2 lakhs of SQs are moving in, in different stores, in different format, in different industry. So uh, there uh, is a requirement to grouping those SQs under assortment so that the planning can be done properly. Store wise uh, range planning that what would be the merchandising and what, what assortments to be kept in certain stores and how that should be calculated it should be uh, uh, required to address uh, to make a efficient supply chain management and uh, for the most is uh, automated requirement computation because uh, you know that uh, in, in retail industry that uh, quick response is one of the uh, critical part so if uh, uh, it takes so much time to compute the requirement of a certain store then it would uh, create problem in, in uh, that uh, the basic objective of profit maximization because maybe the demand uh, goes down then we can um, sending the particular uh, assortment to that store then it would uh, create a problem in, in operations so uh, now uh, I'll, I'll discuss uh, this in details that uh, why these way forwards we have uh, identified this is the see that uh, there is a uh, different demand characteristics matrix available how suppose if if we are operating in footwear segment then brand color and size design that is uh, these combinations would be the um, the factors which uh, contributing in the demand similarly if it's a led segment it's in in electronics uh, goods category then it would be brand uh, and size would be basically the 20 inch or 40 inch size of led tv so it's in different item categories there are uh, different uh, demand matrix available so it's main shot there's a brand is there color size and design if, if, if it's a formal or casual uh, it's a red or white it's a light color deep color so 40 inch size uh, that something is required to plan for uh, this SQ grouping. Similarly, uh, there is a different uh, demand matrix for same items. Suppose uh, 
uh, short in in uh, north india it would uh, be uh, that uh, higher size whereas it would be in eastern or south yeah, in southern in part it would be uh, in uh, l size or m size but in maybe in the punjab cat uh, state it would be around xl size so this is same items can be uh, has a different demand matrix in uh, in different uh, store or locations and another thing is that why is grouping required there is a, a non repeated barcodes uh, see uh, there are some times it happens in different industries in retail segment it uh, in value retails or uh, some other uh, also that uh, the barcodes are not getting uh, it's not repeated barcodes maybe the characteristics of that items are same almost but the barcodes are uh, different so in that case we need to have some grouping so that we can uh, uh, that use the earlier barcode sales for uh, using um, for replenishing the new barcodes so for that the assortment planning means uh, the grouping of the SKUs is required next we'll move to store wise range planning why it's required uh, see uh, different store has different characteristics regarding item movement that's that I, earlier I was telling that Punjab's main shot maybe it's a uh, XXL whereas in Chennai it would be XL Dhoti the Eastern uh, the ethnic ethnic uh, product in uh, in uh, this uh, Eastern zone Dhoti maybe uh, this uh, is not moving any other uh, store other part of the uh, India so in that case we have to plan accordingly the particular assortments for particular store wise uh, apart from this uh, the uh, different store may be in the same locations but the store size and store format can differ so for that the uh, the the, uh, the quantity to be stored in particular store would be different so store wise uh, range planning is one of the uh, critical factor and another thing is the different festive season and surge in demand you can say in Durga Puja in eastern part of the country it's Durga Puja in October but in southern part it's in Pongal the uh, one of the uh, leading festive season festive uh, video over there it's in Jan so different uh, locations has different demand surge characteristics so for these all factors maybe uh, there are some other factors also but these are the major factors which is required uh, for a store ranging because uh, to address these uh, problems we have to need a store ranging um, for uh, for different uh, assortments next is automated requirement why it's required that's earlier i was telling that uh, data crunching and it's it's a difficult task it's takes a regular monitoring and then only we can achieve a certain um, requirement uh, apart from that timely computations that uh, um, because the huge data huge number of uh, items and stores then uh, it would be difficult to uh, compute timely proper uh, the requirement uh, different stores different assortments have different uh, computation algorithm so in that case also we have to uh, need some solutions where we can have uh, can address these issues management expectations it's uh, suppose it's a management expected that 10 percent growth to be there for certain stores so during uh, requirement calculations and di different business model that uh, particular store calculations that 10 percent growth or uh, what management is expecting that need to be incorporated so uh, in that case also this offline sources also required to incorporate um, another is uh, in individual store wise recommend planning and uh, summing the same for warehouse level planning that is one of the thing that uh, individual store level plan will uh, the summations of that uh, quantity would lead to a warehouse level requirement so uh, in that case also all these are required for a efficient uh, business operations in retail segment now uh, what now it comes to genesis planning these are the problems which we have at, uh, uh, discussed in right now now it's uh, genesis planning genesis planning uh, how uh, it can solve uh, these uh, issues by its uh, um, operations see um, we have different uh, layers of in, in genesis planning suppose first is component uh, configuration so what is config uh, component configuration 
component uh, is uh, something it's a different uh, combination of different elements see we have a item master here uh, these are the item attributes available in the item master now uh, these item attributes called as element so uh, if we uh, consider this uh, category 3 and uh, category 4 then a component would be category 3 plus category 4 see here a sample component I have uh, provided here sample components category 1 and category 2 so I'm just setting a rule that a component it's a basic part in Genesis planning for assortment uh, creation the first step uh, in this step we'll just uh, yeah, we'll identify the rules by which the component to be defined category 1 and category 2 means that if it's color and it is design then color and design would be my consideration for assortment planning so I have made this category 1 and 2 for example uh, another component which I have given category 2 and MRP means design and MRP would be my considerations for uh, some other assortment planning so this is the first step of component configuration next would be map what is map we have defined sample component 1 and 2 now uh, sample uh, sample component 1 would be uh, would be used in 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 uh, apparel divisions apparel segment whereas category uh, 1 also in the electronics but in footwear it would be sample component 2 what does 2 means 2 means design and mrp so uh, for this uh, for this uh, footwear the design and the price is uh, consideration for assortment planning so we can define different components from different components we will define map as per the uh, product hierarchy from this uh, map we will generate assortment this would be an automated process by click up a uh, button so see this is the item master I have now from there what would be the assortment to be created as per this map we have defined apparel main shirt now this is the one of the item apparel main shirt now the uh, component is uh, sample component one one is one was category one and category two thus category one is red and category two is a001 the design so the assortment for this item would be apparel main shirt red a001 for electronics it would be electronics tv led nk001 in nks01 sorry and uh, in footwear segment uh, we have created category 2 and mrp so category 2 is sorry uh, it was it was category mrp and category 2 yes category 2 and mrp see this is the uh, assortment created it might be possible that there are other barcodes also available with uh, footwear ladies casual it's uh, red s293093 and 500 then the only one assortment will be created because we have not consi considered this category one thus for that barcode also s293 and 50 so the unique would be this assortment so under this assortment then there will be two barcodes so this is the assortment how uh, the logic would how in genesis planning it will be created next would be range planning range planning is uh, where we will be uh, marking a particular assortment for particular store what would be the minimum quantity or maximum quantity will be kept that in other ways we can say that we are assigning certain assortment for certain stores which there would be available means those assortments will be available in that particular store so this part of the genesis planning would be calling as a master data management next is coming the business model creation uh, it would be a excel based model excel you have to uh, write a formula whatever you want as per the excel formula we are uh, uh, 
equipped in in genesis planning like uh, that uh, in in plan uh, in excel whatever formula you will provide that can be used in in genesis planning so uh, this would be the business uh, model creations then we have to assign this to different assortments this model and then and is to assign uh, to sites then it would be assigned uh, with some parameters i'll come to these parameters uh, uh, later uh, next this will create from business model will be creating a request request is nothing but a subset of this part means in in a request we can uh, identify a particular model then a, part, a few s assortments which assign to this model a few sites which assigned to this model and parameters so from from those sub uh, that uh, parameters and from this uh, model and uh, assor uh, assortment and sites will create a request this request will run by a scheduled automated process it can be manually also can be done and uh, from there we will be getting a output as site assortment wise output as per your formula which is provided in this business model creation so this is the model management part so in broadly in genesis planning there are uh, two parts one is master data management and another uh, is model uh, management so uh, before uh, uh, concluding uh, let us uh, recap once again along with the uh, genesis planning screenshot so we are in the first step component configuration let's uh, go to the genesis planning how this will be operated in the left hand side after login we have the menu list component map assortment ranging parameter model request and output this entire menus are sequenced as per the process flow the first step is component creation here component this is a con we have to configure the component here we, it will be the available here uh, the component list of components but how to create uh, that configure a component clicking this add we will have this option where we can provide the name of the component and some descriptions and we can choose the particular uh, which uh, product item attributes to be identified for this component suppose the in in the example i was uh, uh, telling that category 1 and category 2 so we can provide a sample component name here here and uh, some descriptions uh, here and i have checked this two check box that uh, category 1 and category 2 send uh, on saving this the sample component will be created similarly if we uh, create another component sample component 2 with category 2 and uh, mrp then this two will be uh, checked and we can save that so that would be the component configurations in genesis planning we are uh, now again in genesis planning uh, brief concept note and now in the next step will be configuring map map means this uh, components will be assigned to different division section department which i'll show in the genesis planning right now in genesis planning here in the under map uh, in configure uh, sub menu will be creating the map here uh, in in the left hand side you will find the product uh, hierarchy uh, levels selecting every any of these levels we can uh, click on uh, this uh, right hand side components Ma means we are assigning the uh, side component to particular division or section or uh, department levels so for those uh, department or section the assortment will be created as per the category and uh, category 1 and category 2 components so after selecting this we can save uh, which uh, create the map 
we are again in uh, our concept note we have created the map next is the assortment this is the logic uh, which I briefed uh, earlier now in genesis planning I will show how uh, this uh, generation will happen and what would be generated that's in in, in uh, sample view will uh, show you in genesis planning we are once again in uh, genesis planning here under this assortment generate we can generate uh, the assortments as per the map we have defined so uh, there is a few options are available from clicking in generate assortment button it will uh, create the assortments as per the map and the assortments it, it is a process uh, where user uh, not need to do uh, so much things only uh, click on this button so it is automatically create the assortment from the item master as per the map defined earlier uh, we can see the assortments which will be uh, generated through this generate assortment in this um, manage window where after uh, selecting this filter we can load and uh, see the assortments in this grid see uh, this is the assortment which we have created uh, by this earlier generation suppose kids category 4 component that means kids premium this is the assortment generated from the item master and uh, this uh, grid view has some utility tools by which we can uh, drag and drop and as per our uh, requirement can be exported to excel so these are the options utility options available for uh, operating in this uh, assortment management window so uh, this is the assortment which uh, has been created by the generations automatic generations now uh, we have to uh, know about the range planning in genesis uh, planning that uh, this is the last part of master data management so we will show you in the genesis planning how this range planning uh, can be done the created assortments uh, uh, it uh, can be uh, ranged uh, that is range planning can be done from here where we have different uh, options from uh, creating the range uh, uh, here there's a multiple options are available range by excel uh, add range copy from some other uh, site where uh, the assortments already ranged from there we can um, assign some assortments to uh, different stores so you can select from the stores here so it's uh, loading the uh, site's uh, name here is the site names we can select from here and uh, our selections can be saved with certain names uh, here is the option of uh, providing a name and this will be uh, saved you can find suppose if we can select uh, we can save the selected um, store names global save so we can uh, it is save successfully so the global the filter if we select this uh, from this list automatic selected uh, these uh, stores will be available in this view and we can uh, populate this to this allocated allocate sites so here we have uh, learned how to uh, do the uh, ranging plan in genesis planning the ranging uh, plan which we have done uh, can we uh, manage from uh, this sub menu where we have to select a particular uh, site or uh, multiple sites and uh, from there uh, the assortments we can select suppose if we select this uh, all this and select uh, the all assortments then we can view this uh, ranging over here here the mean uh, mean quantity and max quantity which is provided during arranging and uh, the assortments and site names with all the assortment attributes along with site attributes will be available here we can uh, we have that same utility tool here as uh, shown in assortment that uh, columns can be uh, removed as per uh, user experience if required 
and uh, here we have some uh, options that uh, grid level editing like in excel which we used to do we can edit here in the grids uh, for any any range for particular assortment or site combinations we can uh, edit as a cluster because we can select certain store and uh, certain assortment which has the same uh, mean quantity or max quantity then we can update it directly from here we can delete some uh, ranging and we can block some uh, uh, ranging here by which uh, if, if we block certain uh, assortment uh, ranging will be uh, not in use in later in genesis planning operations if user removes this blocking uh, by or uh, that's uh, if user unblock that ranging then it will be automatically uh, used in the later phase of uh, model and uh, request parsing so we have learned the, uh, the creation of range planning and the management of range planning in genesis planning now we'll uh, show you uh, in genesis planning how the business model uh, can be uh, configured along with this uh, assign assortment assign uh, sites for that model and parameters Parameters will be two types there in the genesis planning one is the system parameter one is custom parameter so uh, we'll discuss this part in genesis planning now this is the sample model which we will be using genesis planning to show you the model uh, structure in the genesis planning here uh, in the first uh, row there is some ten, uh, column headers are written sales uh, average daily sales max stock on hand and git lead there's a requirement this uh, this is the formula column where we are calculating uh, with from these parameters and uh, this would be this this green color would uh, that uh, column headers would be a system parameter that is this will be supplied by uh, genesis it is uh, already available uh, in um, genesis plan which needs to map with this excel file data and this is the custom parameter which user can define by its own here we have defined lead date so user can define its uh, different like growth percentage or something else and uh, this we will upload in the uh, genesis planning in genesis planning we are uploading this uh, sample model uh, here we are giving a name uh, the sample model some description and then we are uploading a sample model the excel file which i have shown you will upload here the sample the sheet name over here we can select if any other sheets uh, default sheet the first sheet will be available here see the uh, the column headers which i have shown in the excel file is uh, available here and the uh, sample data in the second row which i have showed that formulas and uh, values are there which is available in this column now we have to uh, take this to uh, this we are taking this by clicking over there we are taking this in genesis planning now we have to map with the internal uh, that parameters of genesis planning here suppose uh, it's a site it's column a and it's b now post cell is a system parameter which is uh, which will be uh, provided by the um, genesis planning and the parameters are available de by default and here we have the option of selecting the sales for that demo we are just selecting suppose uh, uh, one month sale and uh, this is the average sale which is also a system parameter we are selecting this is the name of the uh, system parameter which is available in genesis planning now here we have to define some uh, period for the daily average sales also now the max it is also a system parameter the max is something uh, that is we have defined in range so max quantity we can select here stock on hand it is also provided by uh, genesis uh, planning in its uh, default uh, system parameter git goods in transit it is also available lead days it is a custom parameter which is defined by the user we have already created this custom parameter we will show you how this custom parameter uh, to be created 
so it's uh, i have completed this if any uh, issue are there in in this structure mapping then there will be a red uh, mark over this every row if they anything is uh, need to be done from the user end if it is complete then it, it there is nothing to uh, do so i'm clicking save so we have mapped the model the excel based model in our genesis planning which will be used for our uh, model parsing or uh, request run operations uh, next is uh, i'll show you this m uh, allocate site we can allocate this uh, model uh, model demo to different sites by just taking that this business model will be uh, used for calculating the requirement for these uh, stores that is a, a rules we are uh, setting here these models can be assigned to different map or assortment so this model i, I am assigning to suppose assortment map this is the maps available so uh, that model would be using uh, some maps so you can check some uh, map here and clicking this will uh, uh, complete this process of model uh, operations that first we define the excel based models and map to it in genesis planning then we assign this uh, to different sites and uh, then uh, we will assign to different assortments so we have uh, uh, the created the first uh, step of model uh, management uh, before uh, completing this we will show you the uh, custom parameter part the custom parameter which uh, can be uh, created by user suppose growth percentage percentage so we can uh, define some custom parameter uh, by um, in in genesis planning so uh, this custom parameter can be applicable different site assortment combination or site combinations or assortment level and uh, this is a default value if uh, nothing is provided then the default value would be uh, taken during uh, request uh, run uh, of this genesis planning so you can save so uh, this growth percentage available in the custom parameter so and um, in this growth percentage we can assign some values for different sites and assortments by importing uh, data from our import excel wizard next is uh, system parameter in this uh, model management uh, these are the list of system parameter which is uh, available by default in uh, Genesis planning. There's a goods in transit, uh, ma mean or max, which uh, actually we have defined in mm, uh, ranging, then uh, daily average sales, uh, pause sales, and stock quantity, which will be uh, which can be used in different models. So we have discussed this uh, business model and this assignment of parameter sites and uh, assortments next is uh, this uh, re request creation and uh, from request creation we'll show you how the uh, request is running in genesis planning and output so uh, this is the last phase of genesis planning of uh, model management as well so we are going to genesis planning once again uh, now in, in uh, genesis planning we are uh, using request menu this is uh, nothing but uh, uh, basically uh, creation of subset of the model uh, structure which we have defined telling the site and assortment suppose we are giving a name uh, request uh, 011 so whether it is a repeated scheduler or one time scheduler let me check it one time uh, next um, we have to select the model which we have to uh, which we want to consider for this request so on selecting this model we have that model structure which we have defined next is the uh, sites which already assigned to that particular model so here we can select a few from the list and then go for the next here the assortments which also we can um, 
create a subset by uh, selecting only one or a few of them next we validating whether uh, there is at all any uh, ranging available or not this is a basically a tool that where user can validate whether uh, there will be any output or not so this is the see uh, this is a for uh, the partic this particular site there is no assortment uh, range so it is showing that not found ranging so on mm, clicking on the post request will be saved here it is uh, saved this uh, request now we will uh, go to the server mode operations and suppose if we want to uh, run right now we can uh, click this uh, run immediate and we can click uh, the start to run this uh, this request it will run for each site from the available list for the assortments which are ranged here so this is the uh, request management part and uh, there is another option of uh, and manage scheduler is that where we can schedule uh, this request running at, at what interval suppose daily or weekly or something so that we can uh, define from here so this is the automated scheduler process which user uh, mm, uh, schedule once and it will automatically run from the our uh, genesis planning engine now on this running this request the output will be visible here suppose uh, here here we if we select a particular request and the columns which we want to select uh, we want to view in the output uh, sheet will be available here we can mark something uh, some here and then we can load so this is the final output of the uh, genesis planning We have completed uh, the process flow of Genesis planning. The basic fundamentals of uh, Genesis planning actually we are taking inputs uh, from the system as system parameter and uh, user parameters. This might be a custom parameter or some uh, ranging config map configuration. All those parameters actually supplied by the user. So uh, those parameters is uh, actually uh, used in genesis planning with some time with objective some intelligence and uh, the data from there we will just uh, getting the answers of uh, these uh, major uh, the fundamental questions of retail in in as as output in genesis planning so we have actually uh, shaped this uh, genesis planning with uh, with a, with a uh, concept of uh, transformation from a responsive planning as a futuristic planning so which we can plan accordingly right now in genesis planning and react on that so it's uh, the all about genesis planning hope you have enjoyed the presentation of genesis planning thank you